Hey guys, what is going on? Jurgen from Zergrino Sports here, and today we are back at it again with some more of our SmackDown vs. Raw 2007 GM Mode series. Apologies, I am having to adjust my mic because I saw I saw a little uh, spike in my uh, audio recording software, and I was like, well, gotta fix that before we go any further. Anyways, with that distraction aside, hopefully it didn't get picked up by the mic me adjusting it. Um, we are back at it again with this 2007 GM Mode series. Uh, last episode, we had our Great American Bash pay-per-view, which I thought did well, but obviously the game disagreed because uh, it gave us like a three-and-a-half star show or something like that. We can actually check, so let's go ahead and check. Um, three-and-a-half star show, yep. Yeah. These matches here kind of let us down. This one, like, I understand Gregory Helms is mid-50s, but at least make that a three. You know what I mean? Um, cause Randy's above 80 and RVD is like mid 70s I think, so like, that should all intents and purposes be a 3 in my opinion, but whatever. Um, this one I think should have been a 3 as well, because it's a rivalry, uh, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, pretend Kennedy got the pin there. I explained it last week, I don't want to explain it again, but uh, yeah, Kennedy, Kennedy would have gotten the pin. Umaga would have hit the finisher, Kennedy would have gotten the pin. And then they beat him up, so Kane's out of commission for a while. I explained it anyways. Look at that. Wow. Um, and then this match, again, should have probably been a three-star, mainly because it was a, it was a championship match. Um, no rivalry, but, I mean, Ray and Eddie are up there in popularity. Both are above 90, I believe. Eddie, for sure, is above 90 without the title. Ray, I think, is just below 90 without the title. Maybe something like that. I don't really know. But he had the Cruiserweight title, too. Uh, I think he does, at least. Um, do I even know who my own champions are? I don't know. Um, US Championship ladder match, that four stars is fair for that, I think. And then that's probably fair, because it's early into the rivalry still, I guess. Batista and Undertaker, but yeah. Um... Let's, uh, yeah, let's, without further ado, man, let's just, let's just go for it, you know what I mean? I do want to check my roster quickly. I want to see who my champions are. Uh, Eddie, sorry, Ray is the Cruiserweight champ. Okay, so he's a double champ at the moment. World Heavyweight Champion Batista, a new World Heavyweight Champion at that. Uh, Shelton Benjamin is still the U.S. Champion, so we have new tag title, tag champions, and a new world champion, um, and all that. Rivalries, the ones that are still intact, are good. Hopefully they don't sour in the next three weeks. Um, this injury revenge one very well might, because it's 12 weeks, it's at 12... Oh no, it's at 8 weeks, it'll go to 12 weeks, I see what it means. I think all of these will survive, honestly. Okay, well, the two the two ten week ones that will end in ten weeks, I think they'll survive. I think injury revenge might low key have to get started up again, but hopefully not. You know, hopefully we don't have to. Um, but you know, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and uh, go on with the show. You know what I'm saying? So velocity. Gregory Helms and Molina weren't used on this week's show, so I'm like, you know what, I'm going to triple stack that match on Velocity. Hopefully Gregory Helms can win two or three of them. With my luck, he's going to lose all three and lose a bunch of popularity, but hopefully he can win all three and maybe gain some popularity. I'm pretty sure Velocity doesn't really affect popularity, but... You know, my, maybe if he gets three wins or two wins or something like that, it will affect his popularity. I don't really know. It's worth a shot. I don't like seeing the names in red, though, because uh, it's bothering me. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the main card. We start things off tonight with the b debut of Chris Benoit, who was acquired post-pay-per-view in exchange for Carlito. Uh, then we go on to a handicap match, Umaga and Kennedy versus Paul Burchill. They picked, they found a new dude to pick on, and it's Paul Burchill uh, after eliminating Kane, essentially. Uh, also, Mr. Kennedy has a big chip on his shoulder now, even bigger than before. He wants a U.S. Championship match. And he's making that clear. Um, so there's that advertising promo. Boom, 150,000. Then we have a tag team championship rematch uh, between Joey Mercury, Johnny Nitro, the former champions, trying to get their titles back from Ray and Eddie with Chavo and Kurt at ringside to advance the rivalries. I had to split them up, uh, so one of them is going to get a loss, unfortunately, because I do want both of them to have good popularity, but, you know, one of them has to have a loss just because I needed to get the... The rivalries continued, um, and then, uh, yeah, I didn't want to use a uh, rivalry in place and match thing, because that takes away a spot from um, one of these being an advertising promo, so that takes 150 
150k away from me plus whatever it would cost to run that promo. Uh, next we have Booker T versus Randy Orton. Your boy Booker T's back. And uh, basically Booker at the start of the show maybe uh, would, would return in a backstage segment and uh, he would find RVD and he'd be like hey what's up uh, and then RVD would be like oh shit man book you're back man where have you been I've been calling you I've been texting you I was like where have you been I was worried and he's like you know I just needed some time um, I really felt like I let us down as a tag team I let you down and I needed some time to reflect and, and better myself and hone my skills but I'm back and I'm ready how about we go get those tag titles tonight and he's like, look, no can do, Book. Um, I have a U.S. title match tonight, and they're already being defended in another title match. Uh, but uh, how about this? We use our rematch against the winners next week. Something like that. So, and Book's like, okay, yeah, sure. All right. Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, meanwhile, Randy Orton maybe walks by, and he's like, hey, Book, if you don't have a match tonight, I have no problem welcoming you back to SmackDown in that ring later tonight and he's like all right you're on bitch got him uh then we have another advertising promo then we have undertaker versus batista not a singles match this will be a brawl um in italy you know gotta tr gotta treat those overseas fans they never get live shows you know what i'm saying so we're gonna have undertaker and batista two big meaty men slapping meat all over the arena for them uh, shout out to Big E. And, um, yeah, man. Uh, in the main event of the evening, we have the United States Championship match. RVD versus Shelton Benjamin. RVD won his opportunity at the Great American Bash pay-per-view in that triple threat against Randy and uh, Gregory Helms. And he is deciding he doesn't want to wait. He wants to use that tonight. Uh, and he's challenging Shelton Benjamin for that U.S. title. And Book is going to accompany, accompany him to ringside to support his friend. Uh, that's what we go and do right there. So, yeah, that's the card. We'll go ahead. The only thing I'm... It, like, I want to kind of run a slander promotion. But, like, I need money because I have seven contract renewals coming up. I have eight I have eight people expiring, but I'm not going to renew Matt Hardy because his popularity is too low. I fucked them up too much at this point. So I'm just going to release Matt Hardy. Or I'm, I'm going to let his contract expire. So I have seven renewals that I need to take care of. I have one million in cash right now. If I get 300000 from the promos and then whatever I get from the show, maybe 700000 Hopefully, being optimistic to put me up to two mil, and then and then next week I can do another, uh, you know, two advertising promos type thing, and then maybe the go home show I can do the slander promotion, maybe something like that. You know what I mean? I think maybe I'll do that. That way I can get six hundred thousand from from these promos, and that six hundred thousand will help me renew probably like three people. I think so. Um, yeah, yeah. Because, uh, actually, you know what? I think all of them are low popularity that I'm renewing. Most of them. So maybe maybe four or five people. I don't know. I really don't know. We'll see. We'll, we'll see when we get there in a couple weeks when we have to renew them. Uh, but anyways, that's the show. We're going to go ahead and confirm the card right here. Boom. Let's go ahead and simulate this match. Melina wins. Let's go ahead and simulate this match. Melina wins. Let's go ahead and simulate this match. <sighs> Oh my god, I'm gonna kill myself. I, li I joked about it. I was like, hey, Melina's gonna win all three, knowing my luck. And guess what happened? Melina won all fucking three. Here's the thing. If I'm right about velocity not affecting popularity, Gregory Helms will stay at his mid-50s. I think he's at a 56. And Melina will stay at her high 60s. I think she's at a 68. If not, Gregory Helms just took a big hit and Melina just took a big bump. <clears throat> Which, I mean, there's a silver lining to that. The silver lining is that I can trade Molina for somebody better uh, on Raw. Because I don't think they had anybody good below 70 popularity that I wanted. So, whatever. But, anyways, without any further ado, let's go to the main card. And let's see the debut of Chris Benoit. I was, I was going to say, let's turn off submissions. But, I mean, it's Chris Benoit. So, we kind of can't. We're going to be playing as Chris Benoit, obviously. We're not going to give Matt Hardy a win over the debut in Chris Ben Who. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and play as Chris Benoit. And uh, he's a 92, Matt's 84. So, I, I have an advantage. And hopefully, I can get a debut win for Benoit on SmackDown.
All right, man. All right, man. We'll go ahead and crack open a cold one with the boys that meme. Please sponsor me. <sighs> so good. Um, while we watch this man make his entrance. Also, apologies if um. Actually, no. Let me meme this, and then I'll and then I'll make my apology. I can try to foresee it when I live for the moment. There ain't no fucking with me. Yeah. Um. I am sick. Um. I've been sick for like a whole ass week. Um. And a few days ago, I was like really bad, sick wise. But. Now I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, I'm still, I'm sick, but it's like manageable. It's kind of like minimal, but I might sound a bit different. I might be sniffling a little bit, doing a little bit of, doing some of that right there. I don't know if the mic picked that up, but some of, uh, some of those, you know, some of those little sounds like, like I'm sniffing, you know what I mean? I might be sniffing a little bit, sniffling, you know what I'm saying? Sucking in air through my nose, uh, in, in some other regards. And, uh, I might cough here and there. So apologies about that if it happens and about maybe sounding different. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, we got Benoit though. I love his theme so much, man. There's no holding me back I don't know the lyrics for the rest of the song Why didn't I look for the lyrics before I recorded this video? I love his theme so much, dude. I'll, I'll try and learn the lyrics. I think that'll be... Look at that. I sniffed already. I did a little sniff. You know what I'm saying? God, fuck. God damn. Oh, man. I remember uh, I remember when I was in high school. Um, we, had a, we had an exam, I think. Or just a test. It might have been just a test, actually. And, like, it was a really bad week for the, for the people in the school because, like, everybody was sick. So we were writing the test and it was utter silence and then just this like string of just people sniffing and shit, right? Because they were sick started happening. And then once the once once it returned to silence, the uh, the teacher was like, God, he was like, a lot of crack addicts in this room, huh? Or cocaine addicts or something. I, I forget what it, the wording was, but like he was he because like apparently if you uh, if you do that cocaine, you sniff a lot. So uh, he made a funny little meme. Um, so that was pretty cool. Shout out to to my high school grade. Nine math teacher, grade ten, grade nine, one of them, one of them. God damn, that seems like a lifetime ago, bruh. Fuck. Why, uh, why is Matt Hardy whooping my ass? That's that's what I want to know. That's what the fuck, bruh, 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 bruh. Okay, I'm gonna need to get out of this here ring. Get over here, you son of a bitch. Get over here. Get over here. Come on. I'm willing to take the momentum bump, goddamn. He's dumb. Uh, I mean, he's smart. Because he, uh. Ooh, come on. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 What? How does that count? Okay, well, I reversed him, anyways. How does that count? He, he did the forearms to the mid middle of my back, right? How does, and me turning around from that, how does that count as groggy for a finish? That shouldn't count at all. What also is pissing me off is that he, okay, well, uh, you know, I had to, I had to acquaint, uh, you know, Benoit with, uh, with, with your man Nick Patrick, you know what I'm saying? New, new addition to the roster, he hasn't been acquainted with the piece of trash that is Nick Patrick. Uh, so, you know, I just had to, I just had to make sure that they knew each other, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me just, uh, can you fucking stop, bruh? Ooh, look at that, bruh. Come on, get, that's not what I wanted, actually. Ooh. Okay, fuck it, man. Fuck it, okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, you escaped right away. Okay, fucking bitch. Ooh, got him with that fucking chop right there. Look at these shoulder blocks, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the only issue I'm having right now is I'm not doing any damage to, uh, his arms. And, uh, as you, as you as you all should be aware if you're a wrestling fan, uh, unless you're a new wrestling fan, because they don't talk about Benoit, so I wouldn't blame you for not knowing who he is. Um, 
Benoit's finisher is the crossface. The Crippler crossface, to be exact. German Supla, baby! And uh, that is a head and arm submission. So I'm not doing any head damage. I'm not doing any arm damage. German Supla, baby! One that I didn't know about, actually. Good shit. Uh, I'm going to store that. Actually, I want to see um, if he has... What are they? I think they were chanting "Let's go, Benoit." There we go. Let's see. Maybe, uh, maybe the diving headbutt is his other finisher. I wouldn't know because he got up. He no sold my shit. He no sold my shit. I'll tell you what. Uh, let's go ahead and okay. You know what? Let's not. Uh, let's let's just let's chill right here, man. Okay. 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 Damn it. I don't, I don't like how much offense Matt Hardy's getting on me here. I don't like- Why did my fucking shit go away? Come on, man. Now I have to get a new one. Oh, okay, here we go. Arm submission, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I mean, he was in the ropes, so I didn't get to hold it at all, but that's fine, I guess. Okay, roll up. I don't want to. I don't want to win like that though. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, store that shit. Uh, let's. Uh, here we go. Let's get you with one of these. Is it? Oh, okay, it is. Yeah, head headbutt from the top rope is an alternate finisher. He way overshot him though. Yep. <laughs> Yo, I I will give the 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 devs credit of this game. They got how Benoit sells missing it. Perfect. How he like kind of like bubbles up into himself, um, that was perfect. So so shout out to the devs who no longer have work. The German Supla baby, uh, because their company went under. Unless they got unless they found jobs somewhere else. So you know I mean good for you if you did. Uh, hopefully you did. It's never never good to be unemployed. Here we go a submission, and I think oh oh my god, yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, we, we tap into you out. Wow, this is going up real quick, huh? What the fuck? Hello? Just pin him then. What the fuck? Why did it not work? Why did it not let me keep going with it? Just let me keep going with it. I don't understand why it cut me off. He wasn't getting out. You know what I mean? Like, if, if, if I was, like, struggling to raise the meter, like, yeah, sure. Like, that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, I can't get it done. I'm wasting my energy. Realistically, as a competitor, you would let go because you understand, hey, I can't finish him right here. I'm just wasting my own energy if I keep trying to. I'll be smart and let go. But he wasn't resisting. That shit was flying to that tap out, um, <clears throat> that tap out end of the meter. So like, I, I don't understand why, why it made me let go, but that's whatever. We got, we got Benoit right here, though. Missing tooth and all. Credit to the dev team for that. Missing tooth. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, I feel like... I feel like um, that's one of, the, one of the things that's been lost with the, with the trend of having huge rosters in the wrestling games these days is that, like, nobody's really good <laughs> you know what i mean like there's no like good representation of somebody like you'll have like the special moves will be specific to the person but then you'll have just random moves in people's move sets you're like i've never seen that man or that woman do that move in their entire fucking career but it's in your move in this game because they were too lazy to make a specific thing for you because you're only a mid carter so you can't get a specific move set you know what i mean so i think like that's that's one of the things that was lost with uh with 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 the starting of adding more and more people to the roster because when you had smaller rosters like in this game um you know everybody could have a specific move set you know what i mean and it would make sense because you only have like a few you only have like what 40 50 maybe 60 people that you need to worry about instead of 170 180 whatever the fuck it is nowadays like whatever anyways next we go on to this handicap match. Um, I kind of lied about this handicap match, I guess, in a sense. It's it's not meant to be a handicap match. Um, it's meant to be Kennedy versus Birchall. Uh, but it ends up technically being a handicap match, I guess, in a sense. 
if, if you know what I mean. Basically, like, basically, Paul Bert, like, I don't know. I don't know. Because that would lead to a DQ, I guess. But, like, whatever. I don't know. Man, it would, it would, it, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> whatever. Got big rigs on the loading screen right here. Um, let, okay, so let's say this. It's meant to be a singles match. And then um, Umaga obviously comes to the ring with, with, with Kennedy. And Paul Birch was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'll take both of you on right now. I don't want to have to deal. I don't want to have to worry about Umaga on the outside potentially costing me the match. Add him to the match so I don't have to worry about it. Um, and he's going to get his ass beat because uh, I played as Umaga and Kennedy. So that's pretty much what's why it's a, it's a handicap match. Because a handicap match is really... Like... They don't really make sense when you have a, a good guy GM. You know what I mean? So, I want to try and make it reasonable as to why it's happening. I don't want to just be like, oh, handicap match because Umaga and, and Kennedy are a thing and they want to beat up on people. Because like a, a face GM wouldn't really let that happen, I guess. You'd have to have either the wrestlers on their own being like, give me the handicap match. Or something like that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Paul Birchall was like, hey, I don't want to have to worry about Umaga out on the outside. Put him in the match. Let's go. I'll fight both of you. And, uh... Yeah. I should have just made it a one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> uh, I should have just made it a one-on-one. -on -one. You know why? Because next week... Okay. We're going to rewrite the script a little bit here, alright? I understand that I messed up in the match and I can't change it in the game now. Pretend this is in fact a one-on-one -on -one with uh, with manager. Pretend that it's a one-on-one -on -one with manager. I'll only wrestle as Kennedy, and uh, we'll 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 pretend it's a one-on-one -on -one with manager, with Kennedy, and we'll pretend that Umaga Umaga's presence on the outside maybe helped Kennedy win, um, not not directly. Not directly though. Like it's not gonna be like a fuck like a like a you know shenanigans finish where Umaga like grabs his leg and he's like, oh what the fuck? And then Kennedy wins. It's not gonna be like that. Kennedy's gonna win clean, but Umaga will like be fucking with Paul Birchall throughout the match. Like pretend to maybe grab his leg or like pretend to slide in or something or like look at him and taunt and shit like that. Stuff like that. So his presence will have an effect on the outcome of the match, but he himself will won't directly have an income on the match. Uh, income? Out, uh, influence. Impact. There we go. Impact wrestling. So yeah, singles with manager now. Not a, not a handicap. Forget that. I hail from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Mr. Hit us with it, Ken. Hit us with a big Kenny. Kenny... I, I almost called him Kenny Dykstra. <laughs> Imagine. I'd never give Kenny Dykstra a push like this in a serious GM mode like this. Hell nah. When I eventually do a meme GM mode, Kenny's gonna be the champ, bro. I'll tell you what. He's gonna be the world champ. He's gonna be the US champ. He's gonna be the cruiserweight champ. He's gonna be every champ. You know what I'm saying? But, uh... Yeah, for... for, for yeah, we're not... This is, this is a serious playthrough, all right? So if Kenny was in here, he'd be a jobber just like he was in 2008. We're going to drink some more of this PC while this loads in. Good shit, man. Please sponsor me, okay? Okay? Please. I have people tweeting you on Twitter, directly adding you, telling you to sponsor me. So it's time to sponsor me, fellas. All right? Come on. Please. Uh, let's go ahead and tag out real quick. That's not how I tag out. So now I have to... Uh, uh, okay. German Supla, baby. I don't want to touch him with... Uh, with I don't want to touch him with, 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 with Umaga, though. That's the issue right here. I don't want to touch him with Umaga. I don't want to touch him with Umaga. Because then, then that kind of defeats the purpose of me saying he doesn't directly affect the match. Uh, 
Let's let's go. Let's come on, come on, come on. There we go. I pressed the right button. I thought maybe I hit the wrong button or something. Ooh, look at that, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Big clubbing blow. You wanna you wanna fucking swing at me, Nick Patrick? Jamis, blah, baby. Fuck you, bitch. Okay, same roll up as Benoit. Ooh, interesting. Uh, another interesting note about Benoit. Benoit's match would have come between before a commercial break, and uh, or whatever. He would be walking in the back after the commercial break, and he'd be walking by Kennedy and Umaga on their way to the ring, and you'd hear Kennedy say, "Hey, look, it's the new guy. Maybe we ought to do something about him. Something like that. Just a little, just a little teaser. Just a little teaser. You know what I'm saying? Just a little teasing comment. You know what I'm saying? Saying that there might be a little something, something." brewing between those individuals you know what i'm saying so um yeah and and they they would they would clearly both like share a moment where they kind of stare at each other like benoit staring at him like oh what what you want and then, and then kennedy being like hey uh we gotta deal with him new guy new prey you know what i'm saying here we go i feel like he reversed you know what never mind I was going to say I thought he reversed because there wasn't a special camera angle, but it's because it's a tag team match, or a handicap match technically, but like, it's because there's somebody on the apron, so they can't, I guess they can't do the little cutscene into, into the corner for the move. Uh, that's a quick win for your boy Kennedy. Uh, once again, pretend that this week was a singles match with a manager, um, not a handicap. Just pretend that. Because it'll make more sense for next week then. Because like... Yeah. I don't know. We'll just do that. So pretend pretend it was just a singles manager. Uh, Kennedy is the wrestler. Umaga is the manager. And uh, yeah. Nice win for Kennedy right there. Continuing to build his stock. And Umaga technically too with the gameplay. Uh, this was probably better overall. You know what I'm saying? Because like I got the, the in-game benefits maxed for both, I guess. And then I can still just tell you what the actual kayfabe is. So, his eyes were rolling into the back of the head like he was getting topped up by somebody. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Kennedy, that is, in the winning animation. I don't know if anybody noticed that, but that was, uh, that was some. That was some. We're going to go on to the Tag Team Championship rematch now uh, between Eminem without Melina. So, we're going to see Joey Mercury, I believe, grinding all up on Johnny Nitro. Uh, so, small, meaty men slapping meat. Uh, shout out Biggie and um, yeah man we're gonna go ahead and play this match why do I keep putting myself in tag team matches I know I hate them um, here's what we're gonna do we're gonna be playing this match we're gonna we're gonna turn off submission I'll tell you this much because I don't want to I don't want to lose to submission um, and just as an insurance policy because I hate tag matches DQ is off as well <laughs> because I don't want to deal with... If, if this gets past, like, six minutes of gameplay, the match, I'm getting a chair, I'm fucking everybody up with the chair, and then I'm ending the match, okay? That's my new rule with tag team matches on this channel. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. That's what we're going to do, because I fucking hate tag team matches. I don't know why I keep putting myself in them. With that being said, we are going to be playing as Johnny Nitro and Joy Mercury. We're going to play as both. Um, obviously there is the shortcut where I can play as one, come to the outside and put the legal man outside while I'm an illegal man and get a count out win. I don't like doing that though because sometimes if it goes wrong it, it takes just as long to win the match. Um, we got Chavo in the corner there, we got Ray, Eddie, and Kurt. Uh, basically this match is uh, a rematch, it's, it's Kurt and Chavo costing them the, the tag titles because they're not done with Eddie and Ray, uh, respectively. They still have unfinished business in their minds, uh, so they're costing them the tag titles, uh, so they have nothing holding them back, essentially, is what this is going to be. Hell yeah, man. I got a bullet with a name on it, bullet with a name, hell yeah, bruh. This soundtrack was dope. We're gonna go ahead and drink some more of this peace tea. Please sponsor me. We got Eminem songs. Uh, oh man, I wish Chava would have got put in Molina's place. Imagine, imagine. 
You know what I'm gonna do from now on? If I ever need to put somebody in the corner of Eminem again, that's not the person, I think I'm gonna go into the menu and give them Eminem's entrance and make them a tag team on their own. So they come out like that. That will be incredible. Hell yeah, bro. <laughs> That'd be incredible. But for now, we just get to see Joey Mercury um, being, uh, being rather feminine. Because uh, he's literally playing a woman in this entrance, essentially. Um, <clears throat> good thing he doesn't have fucking little a short skirt, so we we don't have to see anything. He's got he's got fucking pants, and he's got a big overcoat over the pants. So we get we're, we are completely safe from seeing anything of his. You know what I'm saying? Um, so Johnny Nitro's covering it up for no reason. When it's Melina, please cover it up. I'm not trying to get terminated on YouTube for some dumb shit. But uh, when it's Joey Mercury, no issues, man. No worries. I don't know why I'm watching this whole entrance. It kind of lost its, its its humor after the, like, the third or fourth time. Um, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, I'm just a very immature individual uh, deep down. So there's that. What you gonna do when we come for you? Ooh. Ooh. Buica, buica, six one nine. Buica, buica, that's my bueno. Buica, buica, six one nine. Buica, buica, de misterio. I hate how his title is glitched like the U.S. title is for Shelton. Buica, buica, six one nine. What you gonna do when we come for you? I wonder why that happens. Maybe, maybe it has something to do with body type or something. Maybe maybe they had to go through with each title to uh, like to each individual and make sure it fit their waist. And maybe they were like, for some people, they're like, you know what? We won't do this for them because it doesn't make sense at this point in their career type thing. Maybe that's what happened. Because maybe, like, you know what I mean? Maybe that's what happened. I don't know. I lie, I cheat, I steal. We got Eddie right here. Presumably title around his waist. I think that, I mean, that's how he came out to the ring with his title, so... <clears throat> and tougher than tough calling your bluff cuz I lie, I cheat, I steal Everybody wants to fight Yeah, see, it's glitched around him I think, honestly, I think what happened with the game Maybe, this is, this is just like completely Like, just me guessing, right? I think what they did was They went through And put the titles on the people in the game that they thought made sense that the titles fit around their waist so it looked normal and everybody else is glitched because they wasn't coded properly maybe or something i don't know because because like that's three people with two different titles that it doesn't fit around but the cruiserweight title fits around ray's waist perfectly fine you know what i mean so i i really don't understand it and the tag team titles fit fine around eminem's waist and they're a tag team so it makes sense for them to be coded to have that to fit you know, Shelton Benjamin's a Raw person in game. He's on Raw, and the US title SmackDown, obviously. We're on SmackDown right now. So it would make sense that they were like, hey, you know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna code it properly to fit the US title, because he's not on that brand. You know what I mean? I feel like maybe that's what happened. Cause like, why else would that be happening? Because Carlito's a SmackDown guy, I believe, in this game. He might be a raw guy. That might that might completely uh that might completely fuck up my theory. 2006, Carlito would have been... Because 2005, Carlito was on Raw. Was, did he get drafted back to SmackDown in 2006? If Carlito's a 2006 guy, I think my theory still has some weight to it. Uh, if, he's a two, if he's a Raw guy, then my, my theory is dumb and it's just a random glitch. But um, Or maybe it's to do with body types. I really don't know. I really don't fucking know. Uh, oh yeah, you trying to lift me? You can't lift me. You can't lift me. You fucking loser. You fucking little loser. Get out of here. Get out of here with your khaki, khakis. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what the fuck. Is. I don't know why I just did a fucking Boston meme. I really don't know. There's literally no reason for me to do a Boston meme. Uh, here we go, tag team maneuver. Yeah, fuck him up, bro. Get him to that orange fucking shit. Ooh, yeah, fuck you. Yeah, idiot. You fucking cruiserweight idiot. What do you think you're trying to hold your weight with the with the fucking big boys? When in reality these two are, are cruiserweights too. But uh, big boys. 
Here we go. Look at that, bro. Look at that, bro. Ooh, yeah, fucking stomp on him, bro. Fucking stomp on him. So I learned uh, this week, I learned that Joey Mercury wasn't at the beginning of his career when this happened. I was trying to store it, actually. But I mean, like, I'll, I'll take it, man. I'll take a win right here. I will. Let me just drag you. And let me just... Uh, okay, that's not what, uh, what I wanted. There we go. There we go. Pin him. I think that's a win. I think that's a win unless Eddie gets there in time. Don't get there in time. That's a win. I'll take it, bruh. Minute 24 for a tag match? That's me in heaven right there. Uh, actually, that's me at the gates of heaven. Me in heaven is uh, no tag matches at all. But, um, I, yeah, I, I always thought Mercury was at the start of his career, just like Johnny Nitro uh, when Eminem started. But apparently, Mercury was like a veteran in like ECW and shit beforehand. Anyways, uh, we only got to see Eddie and Ray with the tag titles for one show. And they lost them. Uh, once again, as a result of Kurt Angle and Chavo Guerrero screwing them out of the titles. Um, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. And new tag team champions recapturing their gold. Uh, Eminem. Which will give them a popularity boost that they fucking need. Because <laughs> Mercury was at a 46 before I started recording. I checked the popularities. Mercury was, a, I think, at a 46. I'm like, bruh. <laughs> bruh. He's going to be at a 49 now with the titles. But, like, bruh. Joey Mercury, man. Maybe maybe, maybe, we, uh, maybe we do a tag team split um, you know, storyline soon so we can get Mercury off the roster because he's uh, stinking things up over there, you know what I'm saying, with that shitty popularity. Um, anyways, we got match number four. Booker T returning to SmackDown after a while out. Uh, pretty much after Great American Bash, right? He was out. So, um, yeah, we're going to go ahead and play this match, of course. Uh, we play all the matches these days. I remember at the beginning of the 2008 one, I would play like three or four and then simulate the other ones but like with these ones like i think in this game especially you kind of have to play them because i've talked about it before uh i'm i'm worried so i'm gonna go ahead and turn off uh turn off submission again we're gonna turn off submission again because i'm worried uh we're gonna be playing his book because he's at a 67 now so we need to get him some wins uh a win over randy would be good because randy's an 82 so he can afford to take the loss and Hopefully it'll give Book like a plus two or three maybe. It won't, but one can hope. Only one refusing to go down. I love how uh, Boogeyman is his own double in his thing. You know what I mean? I love how he's his own double in his loading screen. Because nobody wants to be with him, you know what I'm saying? Can you dig it, sucker? I miss this entrance because I love the I love the pyro he has, and I like his theme a lot, um, and I like book just a lot in general. I'm a big fan of book. Um, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I had an idea to have a King of the Ring tournament in this game, uh, but I, I like I can't actually put a crown on people, unfortunately. Um, I don't think at least. If I can, if I can go into the, like, the... No, you can't, because you can't edit the uh, the already created people in these games, can you? They're kind of stuck as they are, aren't they? I think, I think so. Shisa. I was going to say, I was going to do a King of the Ring thing, but I can't really. Um, well, I mean, I could just without an actual crown. We'll see. Maybe. I don't know. If, if... If I don't do a King of the Ring in this game, I'll do one in 2006 for sure. I really, I am a big fan of a King of the Ring. Um, so, so I'm going to do one in the GM modes before I'm done with the games for sure. Whether it's this game or, the, or 2006, we will have a King of the Ring. Another thing is Elimination Chamber. In 2008, we had two Elimination Chambers, but they were the Survivor Series ones that I didn't really give a shit about. Whether it be this game or, the, or 2006, we will do an Elimination Chamber that I book. Change what you've done to me. Now it's time to shine. I'm gonna take what's mine. I needed to burp through that whole thing. I don't know how I didn't burp. Jesus. I don't even. I'm. I'm like. I'm like subtly burping in the back of my throat right now, in pieces. You know what I'm saying? You know anybody do that when you don't want to actually burp? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever, man. <clears throat> 
You're gonna burn in my light. Hell yeah. Main man. I think we'll skip the rest of it though. We will skip the rest. We got Carlito. Look, hey, hey, raw. I was wrong. My theory was wrong. He has the raw loading screen. He so he has no business having the US title, but it fit around his waist. So my theory was wrong. You know what I'm saying? My theory was wrong. Unless it was right and Carlito was an exception, but that's very my my theory to begin with was I think far fetched. Um so so adding that little caveat to it uh would also be far fetched. Let's get you the good old Oh shit, okay, 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 okay. Reversal, okay, I, I feel you, okay, okay. But here's what I'm saying, Randy. Here's what I'm saying, Randy, right? Good old Jemmy Supla, baby. Ooh, look at that, bruh. Feels good to have Book back. Ooh, his stomp is annoying, though, because it takes a long time and it leaves you vulnerable if you miss. Come on, bruh. Okay, okay, okay. Let, let's calm down there, Randy. Let's calm down there, Randy. Come on, bro. What you doing, man? What you doing, man? Come on, get out. Nick Patrick, I'll get you too, bitch. Get out of the way. Get oh, shit. Right, Book's, uh, Book's a heel. Yeah. I forgot. I left him as a heel at the beginning. Get close to the outside, man. I know you're a heel too. Look, I won't move. If I'm not moving, maybe you'll get baited. Maybe you'll get baited. Come on. Come on. Baited. Son of a bitch. There we go. Baited. Got him. Got your ass. Roll him up. Don't want to win like that. And I mean, I wouldn't win like that anyways. He's, he's at no damage. Uh, let's get another headlock on him. You know what I'm saying? Let's get another headlock and go behind. But we're going to go ahead and do one of these instead. We're not going to we're not gonna double up on that uh, <clears throat> on, the, on the Germans yet. Uh, here we go. Let's get you with one of these. Whatever this is. Nice backdrop. Back supla. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, let's stomp on you. I really don't like his his ground attacks. Kind of kind of annoy me. I'm not gonna lie to you. Ooh, here we go. Here we go. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Dap him up, bro. Ooh, got him. Yeah, beat on him. Yeah, beat on him, dog. Hell yeah, bro. Here we go. Uh, there we go. That's that's cool. Um, okay, that's not cool. <clears throat> Ooh, reversal. All right, get your ass up and let me hit you with a good old. Uh, why can I not remember the name of this finisher? Why can I not, not? Why do I not know? Why do I not remember the name of Booker T's finisher? Oh, he kicked out. I know. Okay, the bookend is the other one. I. Is it just called the scissor kick? I feel like he named it. And I can't remember the name, and I'm very upset that I can't remember the name. Because I really should. Oh, shit. Ooh. Go behind. Ooh, look at that, bro. We'll, you know what? Oh, shit. Okay, I was going to say, dap him, up on, dap him up again, but, uh... Come on, bro. Ooh, go behind. Let me go outside. Let me, uh... Let's get you with another one. Okay, Michael Cole, very faintly, mind you. Oh, no. I fucking... I interrupted his post-finisher uh, taunt. There it is. Nice win in his return. Um, Michael Cole, very faintly, because it was, like, drowned out by the finisher effect, said, there it is, the scissor kick. And I feel like he named it something. But, but I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead... I'm gonna Google Booker T's finisher and what its name is, cause like I, I, it's bothering me that I don't know. Booker T finisher name. Let's see. Booker T's finishing moves: scissor kick. Oh, okay. It's literally just a scissor kick. Well, I feel I, I really thought he named it something. I really thought he named it something. I don't know why. I really don't know why. Oh well. He gets a W in his return. Big big ups to, to him. Once again, I'm hoping that will give him a big boost. 
Um, in reality, he's just going to stay at 67 because it's just going to reverse the downward trend to an upward trend, but not actually impact his popularity. Uh, but, you know, whatever. Next up, we have Batista and Undertaker in a brawl, not a match. Uh, match rules, though. We're going to turn off Give Up for sure. We're going to turn off DQ for sure. We're going to turn off Ring Out Count. Uh, ring Out will leave on, obviously, because that we need that on. We're going to go ahead and play this match. And we're going to play as I didn't write it down in my notebook. Um, we'll play as Taker because it makes more sense for what uh, what's going to happen after the match, I guess. So we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, actually, I don't know. Oh, well. Look at Kane right there. He's on the shelf indefinitely. We don't know when he'll be back because he got a real big old beaten by uh, Kennedy and Umaga there. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely skipping Undertaker's entrance. I'm not really sure how I would want this to happen, but one way or another, I think... Um, you know what? I should have left Ring Count on. From I changed my... Fuck. Ah, God damn it. I'll, um... Fuck. Actually, it doesn't really matter. It, it really doesn't matter at the end of the day. Um, but... Okay, because it's a brawl, right? So, like, within the kayfabe, nobody won. But somebody has to win in the match, unless I left Ring Out, ring out on, but I don't know. This pit of danger, a place where no one follows me, I walk alone. No, no, no. Um, basically, Batista would come out to the ring and cut a heel promo big up on himself. He's like, hey, I beat the dead man. I'm the best there is in this business, and I am now the World Heavyweight Champion, and I have this to show it. And then Undertaker would, uh, you know, a little gong hit, boom. Um, he comes out and he's like, hey, you know, you beat me last night, but you had to get carried to the back just like I did. So you didn't definitively beat me, you barely escaped with my title. I walk for miles inside this pit of danger. I swallow down a thousand years of anger. Um. So yeah, uh, he'd say. So I'm invoking my rematch clause at SummerSlam, but this time it'll be a last man standing match type thing. Uh, and then maybe Batista would be get mad and he'd be like, okay, you're on and then start the brawl. I think that, I think that's because originally in my head, I had it as like them having a brawl and then like after the brawl, after they get separated, maybe Undertaker saying, uh, you know, um, we'll have a last man standing match or something like yelling it, but that's not really an Undertaker thing. So I kind of had to rethink that. I think that's what we'll do instead. You know what I mean? Um, Either way, it doesn't really matter who wins, I guess. So even if I lose, I don't really care. I probably could have simulated this, honestly. I really could have simulated this. This one could have been the one I simulate. But uh, it's two big meaty men slapping meat as per Big E and his desires. So we're going to go ahead and grab a weapon uh, right off the bat. Ooh, cool. I was expecting a sledgehammer and to be disappointed, but we got ourselves a barbed wire 2 by 4 uh, let's go and head, uh, nope, let's, hey, Big Dave, hey, yeah, Big Dave, listen, man, listen, man, ooh, there you go, there you go, let me, let me, uh, why don't you get up for me, why don't you get up for me, Big Dave, why don't you get, why don't you get up for me, Big Dave, let me, let me, let me, let me acquaint you with this fucking thing, huh, yeah, you bitch, got him, I wish in this game that you could, uh, oh, that broke already, okay, good shit, I wish in this game that you could, uh, light shit on fire, that's something that I miss from 2008 playing this game now. Um, that's something that I miss in the current games. You know what I mean? There you go. Why don't you? Uh, why don't you get your ass up, Big Dave? Why don't you get your ass up, Big Dave? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Okay. You know what, man? Just, uh, just fucking, just beat him. Actually, <laughs> let's just get this out of the way. You know what I'm saying? Italy got their fun. 
Italy had their fun, bro. I gave them a great show. You know what I'm saying? I gave them a return. I gave them a... Uh... How, how little sense does it make, by the way, to have somebody return overseas? Jerma <laughs> Supla, baby! You can you can tell I don't take into consideration the location of the places when I uh, when I book the show. I don't even know where the show is gonna be when I book the shows because uh, it doesn't matter in my head. Um, that's gonna be yeah. I literally hit him with two tombstones in a row and he's only at orange. God, are you fucking superhuman, brother? Like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Let me uh, let me grab this here bell because I'm gonna ring your bell. Uh, got it. Fuck. Okay. Let's, let's get ourselves in the ring here, sir. Here we go. Ooh, look at that, bruh. Fucking bitch. There we go. All right. Let me drop that. Let me pick you up. And let me get you with uh, the last ride. Because that way I can drag you away after hitting you with it. So I don't get a rope break. Bullshice. Uh, there you go. Let me drag you. You know what I'm saying? And let me end this match. Hopefully he doesn't kick out. I mean, he's at red health and I just hit a finisher. There you go. Once again, it doesn't really matter because within the kayfabe, the brawl, nobody wins the brawl. It's going to be a brawl that gets broken up uh, by the whole roster coming out or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Or just by security, maybe. Um, one of the two. But, um, yeah. So they're going to have a last man standing match at, uh, at uh, SummerSlam. So uh, be ready for that. You know what I'm saying? Be ready for that. SummerSlam's close, too. SummerSlam is... Uh, so we have this week... We have next week and then the week after the SmackDowns, and then after that is SummerSlam. So SummerSlam is real close. You know what I'm saying? For the show. So, yeah, we're going to skip this because we, we wouldn't be seeing this in in the real product that I'm trying to convey. So, we'll, we'll skip that. Uh, the only reason I watched Batista's entrance is because he would have went to the ring for the promo, so we would have watched it. Uh, Undertaker's entrance, it made sense to skip because he would have just come, like, maybe gong hit, boom, appear in the ring. Oh, it's the Undertaker. Anyways, it is now time for the main event of the evening between Shelton Benjamin invoking his rematch clause. Nope. He kept the title, right? Who invoked the rematch clause? The tag team titles invoked the rematch clause. I'm retarded, man. <laughs> I'm fucking stupid. I'm stupid. Shelton's been champion for a while. What the fuck is wrong with me, man? Let's just, let's go. Let's just continue this match, okay? We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna turn off submission again. I'm gonna turn off submission for any any match that I'm not gonna win by submission. So we're gonna, nope, that's not the right thing. Uh, we're gonna turn off, we're gonna turn off DQ as well. We're not gonna use weapons. I just don't want to get DQ'd in a match like this. Uh, by hitting the ref or something. So we're gonna turn off DQ and we're gonna turn off submission. I think I turned off submission, right? Uh, give up off. Yeah, perfect. And we're gonna be playing this match and we're gonna be playing as uh, Rob Van Dam. <clears throat> See, I think I tricked you. I think maybe you saw Book and you were like, ooh, ooh, Book's gonna turn on RVD. Book's gonna cost him the match for moving on. Nah, he's there to support his friend. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and we're gonna try and win that title with RVD. Let's see if we can get it done. All right, man. Mr. Kennedy on the loading screen once again. I would like to remind you that he wants the U.S. Championship. He's he's making a play with uh, with management. He uh, he he had a singles match with with Paul Burchill to prove that he could be good in a singles match. You know what I'm saying? Um, and because he, he wanted some competition, you know what I'm saying? I hate how that looks around his waist, man. Uh, please sponsor me PC, you know what I'm saying? We drank some more of that right now. Look at him, bro. You can't rock with me. Just drop it. Ain't no stopping me. No. Um, unfortunately, he has to come out first because they don't let you do the manager the other way. When it's just single versus manager, the manager has to be on the right side for some reason. Um, so, unfortunately, he can't come out second as the champion, which I would prefer. But, uh, yeah, unless in editing I move them around, but I'm way too lazy to do that. So, <laughs> we're not going to do that. Just stop it. You can't rock with me. Just drop it. Ain't no stopping me. No. Main man. Shelton sucks. Bruh. Bruh, you sure? Hey, hey, oh, you sure? Mr. Mr. Person in, like, the second and third row? You sure about that? You sure that he sucks? I disagree. 
I disagree strongly. You know what I'm saying? I disagree very strongly. Uh, but yeah. We got RVD right there. Main man. Survival way by my Go home. I'm not my boy. I feel my Too much will to survive. Maybe. Something like that. I don't know. Let's move on. Let's move on. I could have memed the crowd chant in RVD again. Or Rob Van Dam again, sorry. But I didn't. I chose not to. Mainly because I didn't. I didn't remember that it was coming, so I pressed A to skip before I heard it, and then after I heard it, I'm like, oh, well, that's a missed opportunity to meme something. Look at Super Crazy on that loading screen right there. Did you see that? Super Crazy, my man. Uh, he's on Raw, though. They picked him up. On I thought I was shouting for some reason. <laughs> here we go. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Come on, bro. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Good shit. You, you, know, what's, uh, you know what's funny? Uh, nothing. God damn it, bruh. Come on, man. Here we go, here we go. Ooh. One, two. Oh, no. Can't get the can't get the quick win, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, that's a reversal from your boy. I wonder how the US title is gonna look on uh, RVD. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully it fits. Hopefully it fits. Ooh, that's not nice. Let's uh let's let's maybe let's maybe chill with the with the uh with the with the uh, with the reversal Shelton. Shelton, your uh your popular your popularity. Your uh, momentum is way too high now, brother. Uh your your popularity again with the popularity. Your momentum is way too high there, brother. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask you to chill. You know what? Maybe uh maybe when I'm playing as like Gregory Helms and shit against big guys. Maybe the reason my momentum goes up so slow is because my popularity is so much lower than they are, you know what I mean? Um, Shelton, I would just like to remind you that this is a this is a friendly, com competitive match between two babyface competitors. Okay. Okay. Go ahead and store it. Go ahead and store it. Yeah, okay. He's, he's on this, like, reversing spree, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, like, try and ride it out. I'm not gonna try and do any big moves, I'm just gonna strike, you know what I'm saying? Get, see, like, he's he's just on this reversing streak. Get close, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. See, look at him, bro. See, get the fuck out of here, you bitch. Okay. Oh, see, shit like that happens, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, look at that, that connected. That connected. Let me, uh, let me right here. Boom, look at that. You know what, beat him up, book. Beat him up. I'll let it happen. I'll let it happen. I won't complain. I'll go ahead and taunt, though. Really, book? Come on, man. There you go. There you go, book. That's what I. That's what I. That's what I'm about. That's what I'm about. Hey, why hasn't Shelton's finisher run out? If 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 if, if, if my experience is anything to go by, his his shit should have run ran out like a year ago. Cause my shit always runs out fucking super quick. So why why is his shit not running out? Get him with a good old German supla, baby. Let me stomp on you. You know what I'm saying? You won't let the stomp happen. Okay, never mind. Maybe if you like for like mess up a reversal or something. Okay. I'm in the rope though. Oh no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Book, book, book. Whew. I I pressed all the buttons to get to get book from uh to get book up from the apron. See, again, like, it went fucking, it went away. Like, why? Don't pin me. Man, Book, can you do anything? Can, oh, no, that's not what I want. That's not what I want at all. That's not what I want at all. Uh, that's, Book, Book, you're, uh, actually, no, wait, there's no DQ. There's no DQ. I could use it. I could use it. If, if Shelton gets me close to losing, I'm going to use it. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to ask you to pretend that I didn't. Ooh, got him. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Get your ass up. Okay, again, he reverses that move. A German supla, baby, to me. Don't like that at all. Uh, let's, let's, um, stop dragging me, man. Stop dragging me. That's, again, see, submissions are off because of that. You know what I'm saying? I've had enough of people beating me with submissions who have no business doing submissions. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Here we go. 
Boom, finally hit that. I've been trying for that all fucking match. Uh, let's go ahead and get you with a good old one of these right here. Let's go ahead and get you with... Nope, never mind. Let's go ahead and... Ooh, get you with one of these right here. Let's get you with one of those right there. Let's get you up here like this. And let's get that finisher on you. Don't fucking no-sell, you piece of trash. He reversed it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, no let's not... Let's not... Let's not take things back to Johnny Nitro vibes, okay? I, I'm, I'm not about that Johnny Nitro vibe shit right now, okay? We not doing that. If, if he reverses one more, I'm unleashing hell on him with a chair. German supla, baby! And I'm not even going to feel bad about it. Okay? Fair warning. Fair warning. Fair warning. That that is what will happen if he reverses another one. If he reverses another one, German supla, baby! If he reverses another one, we're hitting him with a chair and I'm not even going to feel bad. I won't feel bad about it at all. Not one bit. Not one bit. Will I feel bad about it? I'm telling you. I missed. <laughs> I fucking missed. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> Bruh. I missed. What the fuck? State of me right here. God damn. We're not, we're not beating you with a roll-up, sir. We're not beating you with a roll-up. We want that decisive W. Okay, that's not what I wanted at all, actually. Uh... Let's, uh, let's, 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 let's do one of these right here. Whatever this is going to be. Supla? Supla? Ooh, into a pin. I don't like that. I don't really want the pin aspect of it. I don't want the pin aspect of it. I don't want the pin aspect. Nope, you're not trapping me in there. What the fuck do you think this is, brother? Ooh, there you go. Let's go. Let's go. Use, yeah, use the fresh one right there. So we still have the other one on reserve. There it is, bruh. He didn't reverse that one. I, I, I warned him. I gave him for a warning. I, fair warning. I told him, hey, reverse another one. I'm hitting you with this chair over and over and over again. And I'm allowed. Because DQ's off. You know what I'm saying? I really don't want to use the no DQ thing as a, as a defense thing of me being bad at the game. The only reason I had it there was because in case I hit Nick Patrick too many times. Because I lost with Gregory Helms by accidentally hitting Nick Patrick too many times and getting DQ'd. And I wanted to win the title, obviously, because I'm playing as the challenger, so I didn't want to lose the match and have to, like, vacate. Because I, I, I don't like having to do the whole, like, pretend I won, and then I'll change it in the whatever. Like, I like actually playing through what I want to be the intended result, you know what I mean? So, it's better if I win and we get this animation of him having the title in his hands and winning and being happy about it and shit like that. Like, that's what we got right there. That's what we got right there, bro. That is what we got right there. Who must will to survive? I, I like how they don't have any names on the nameplates, because, like, that would just be way too much work <laughs> to code that in. Uh, but, yeah, look at fucking Chavo's hairline, guy. Uh, damn. God ah, damn, bro. And look at Eddie, man. Eddie's, Eddie was older, I'm pretty sure, and he had much a much stronger hairline. Unreal. Unreal. Anyways, we'll continue. I think that's a three and a half star show, maybe four star show. But I doubt it. Fan change, a smack. What? One four. Oh, I'm gonna lose my mind. They did a fucking. Nah. They. No fucking way. I got two! Dude, they used the fucking rumor thing. They used the slander promotion thing. I still have more fans than them. They did a fucking slander thing. You gotta be fucking kidding me. You pieces of shit, man. I was trying to be, I was trying to be cordial. I was trying to be respectful with Cl They had a vacant- <laughs> They had a vacancy. They had a vacancy. They had a fucking vacancy. They 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 cut a, they they put out rumors and they were like, "Hey, our show's going to be better this week. Tune in." You didn't even you were missing a match. You had dead air for your first segment. Brother. Brother. I'm losing my mind here. I'm losing my mind here. Did they even use Carlito? Did they use Carlito? 
They didn't use Carlito. Did they release Carlito? Dude, if they released Carlito, I can just get him and trade for another one of their popular people. <laughs> oh, man. If that's the case, man, I'm, I'm all for it. I'll, I'll release Matt Hardy early, bro. I don't give a fuck. I'm at 1.9, so I wasn't uh, I wasn't being too optimistic by saying 2 mil. Uh, that's fine. So we got a two-star show despite having... That doesn't make any sense. So it ha it's, it, we only had a two-star show because of the rumors then. That's the only reason. That's the only way. Uh, I just had my desk. Apologies. So this got two stars. <clears throat> I mean, that's fair enough. Matt Hardy's fucking in the low 40s. That, he's far gone. That, that's fair. This match, I think, should have been three, mainly just because of um Umaga and Kennedy, honestly. Uh, this match, three and a half, good. Tag team, rivalries, good shit. Hopefully none of those rivalries went sour. We'll check in a second. Uh, Book versus Randy at three is very good, because Book's only 67, I believe he was. So that's good. This at a three and a half is good. Hopefully it didn't go sour. And then this at a three is kind of bullshit. But also kind of understandable because there's no rivalry and uh, I get it. I understand. Okay, I understand. Uh, let's let's take a look at the free agency. I feel like they released Carlito. Honestly, they didn't. So is he is he not? Why didn't they use him? He's at an 83 too. So like they had no reason not to use him. Or maybe I'm just blind and I didn't see them using him. Hold, let me let me check one more time. You know what I'm saying? The 29th. Okay. Boogeyman, Holly, JBL, Flair, Show and Masters. S Triple H, Cena, Lita, Tori Wilson. Why? Why? Lashley, Kali, Michaels, Finley, James, Stratus, Foley, Edge. Yeah, Carlito wasn't there. Okay. I mean, whatever. That's fine by me. Uh, let's take a look at our roster right here. Okay. Uh, we got some people there expiring. We're not going to renew Paul Burchill, by the way. When Paul Burchill expires, we're going to bring, um... <clears throat> what's his name? Nick Patrick. We're going to bring his creative wrestler and I fucking had, like, a brain shut down there. Um, so I don't understand why Ray went down from a 90 to an 87, right? He lost the title, the tag team title, sure. He still has the Cruiserweight title. And last time I checked, you couldn't stack those effects. So, like, am I learning that you can stack the championship effects? I don't really know. Um, Eddie is at a 91. He was in a 94 before. That makes sense. Uh, Batista at an 88, but that's with the title. So he's at an 83 in actuality. And he went up, too, after that match. So that's fine. Undertaker went up to an 85. Good. He was an 84 before. Kurt was, I believe, at an 84 anyways. I think he's just downward spiral now. Or he might have been an 85. Randy was 82, but he didn't go down, so that's fine. Benoit was 80, but he didn't go up. That's kind of unfortunate. Kennedy up to a 79. Shelton down to a 79. Hey, you know what, though? Shelton at a 79 without the title, that's good. He started low 60s. So, like, I think I did fine with him. Uh, RVD up to a 77, but that's because of the title. So he's actually at a 74. Umaga up to 77, good shit. Chavo went up, because he won, I guess. So he went up to a 74. Book went up too. Good shit, he was at a 67. Molina stayed the same, good. So that means Gregory Helms didn't move either. Kane stayed the same. Nitro went up. Virtual went down too. Helms stayed the same, good shit. Fuck, I was worried, bro. Mercury went up by four. So uh, by three, but by one as well. Matt Hardy went down further by one. Okay. <laughs> Alright, rivalries. Everything's still good. We we Gucci. We Gucci right here. I don't like the fact that I'm using Gucci as a, as a word. Because, uh, unironically, but that's fine. Um, we'll go ahead and set up next week's show because I have next week's show booked. So we'll go ahead and do that. We'll go ahead and set it up. So, uh, to start things off, we have Benoit with another match uh, in singles. Uh, we got Benoit against Randall Keith, you know what I'm saying? He wanted, uh, you know, he, he came to the GM and he said, Hey, listen, man, like, um, I need some better competition. Matt Hardy, you know, as good as he is, he's in a slump right now. He's not himself. I came to SmackDown. Uh, I agreed to come to SmackDown because... You know, I want to wrestle with the best. I want the highest competition. And unfortunately, at the moment, Matt Hardy isn't that. 
give me give me some good competition, you know what I'm saying? Uh, and then Randy. You know what? That makes him kind of a heel, and I want him as a face, so pretend that didn't happen, because that's not what it would be. Uh, Maybe Randy Orton's like, hey, you know what? I want Benoit. I want to welcome him to SmackDown. Properly. D okay, just d what I said is Benoit, say it as Randy. Randy was like, hey, you know what, Benoit? You know, you came to SmackDown, you had a match last week, but let's be honest, that wasn't real competition, and you came here for competition. I'm that competition. Let me officially welcome you to SmackDown. Something like that. We get Randy versus Benoit uh, to start things off. Next, we have uh, the Tag Team Championship match. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Between Tag Team Titles. Uh, we gonna, we kind of have to do this, right? Because of Melina. So, uh, we got Melina right here. We've got Nitro right there. And then we got Mercury right here. Uh, with, uh, with RVD and Book. There we go. They get their tag team rematch for the tag team championships. Uh, promo number one, we're gonna do advertising. Uh, match number three... We have, uh, where am I looking? Here we go. We got a uh, good old one of these right here. So basically what this is, is we've got, uh, we've got, we've got Mr. Kennedy, 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 Kennedy uh, against, uh, we got Benoit somewhere. We got Benoit, boom. And then we got Paul, nope, hold up. We want... Umaga there. Whoops. There we go. And when we and then we want Paul Burchill here, and then uh, boom. So basically, uh, Paul Burchill, <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? It, he he made it um, a handicap last week, and then Kennedy was gonna have a match with him again. Paul Burchill would be like, you know what? I want a rematch. Uh, blah blah blah. And then Kennedy would be like, okay, suit yourself. But Benoit would be like, hey. You know, um, he, would, he would find Paul Burchill later in the night and say, hey, uh, backstage, he'd be like, hey, listen, when you have your match tonight, I got your back. I'll be in your corner so you don't have to worry about Umaga. All you have to do is worry about Kennedy in the ring. I'll keep an eye on Umaga. You do you in there. I got your back. So that's what's happening there. Benoit, because uh, we're going to, like, like I, I teased it during their match, we're going to be starting a Benoit and Mr. Kennedy storyline. Uh, I don't know... Uh, next week, I guess. So, <clears throat> match number four. And guess what? Guess who's champion who hasn't defended it in a while? Rey Mysterio. So, Rey Mysterio has to uh, defend his title, pretty much. Because uh, the no compete and clauses and shit like that, right? So, uh, the 30 day clause or whatever. So, Ray has to defend his title against Gregory Helms because uh, Chavo is not in line for a title. So the only person <laughs> left on the roster is Gregory Helms. Um, so we got another title match right there. Cruiserweight Championship. Ray versus Gregory Helms for that Cruiserweight title with uh, Chavo there to advance the rivalry and maybe for other reasons you'll have to tune in to find out we are going to fucking slander the fuck out of raw because fuck those guys okay you know what no 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 no. we're gonna do advertising again because we have a lot of renewals but i'll tell you what the week after this we we slandering the fuck out them boys all right i'll tell you what match number five we got uh, a match right here that's a little bit, a little bit interesting. You know what I'm saying? A little bit interesting, and I'll explain it in a quick second. We got Batista, we got Eduardo, we got Kurt, and we got Taker. And this doesn't really make sense because uh, we're mixing the heels versus heels, face and face, all that shit. Uh, I'll explain it. Basically, Kurt Angle would come out to the ring this week um, and be like, "Hey, you know, um, Eddie, I want you to come out here." I need to talk to you. I cost you the match last week, and I need to ask you for one more match. Eddie comes out, blah, blah, blah. They have promo, and Kurt's like, listen, I can beat you. I know I can. I want one more match with you at SummerSlam. And Eddie would be like, listen, Kurt, like, I'm not going to give you the match. Because the way I'll give you, if I give you the match, I'll beat you again. You'll come back at me again. It cost me another match. Cost me another title shot, opportunity, whatever it may be. And you'll ask for one more match again, and I'm not going to do it. I beat you before. I don't need to beat you again. That's your problem. Because uh, what, what, you know, 
what's what's gonna what what's proving to me that you know this is one more match because it's never been the case before and then Kurt Angle would be like okay he'd be like the reason you can believe it will be the last time I ask for one more match is because I will put my career on the line if I can't beat you if I can't beat you I retire at SummerSlam and then Eddie, Eddie would be like ooh alright alright spicy I like it I like it yeah I fuck with it um, and then he'd be like but listen Kurt you know you gotta prove that you're still at this level you gotta prove that you're still at the top level for me to for me to have a match with you because you know yeah so a few weeks ago I had a match with Batista the world champion and I beat him so what I want you to do is I want you to fight Batista tonight and if you can beat him I'll give you your match so we got Batista versus Kurt uh, Kurt needs to prove himself by beating Batista to get his match at SummerSlam against Eddie Guerrero, in which his career will be on the line. And, uh, yeah, that's that match right there. Boom. Uh, main event of the evening, we have a rematch for the United States Championship once again, uh, which is going to be... I'm just going to do this instead, actually. I'm going to do RVD and then do Shell Benjamin, switch it around like that real quick. Book in his corner again. Um, we got Shelton Benjamin versus Booker T, not Booker T, Rob Van Dam, RVD, uh, for that, for the, for, for the U.S. Championship. So we have three championship matches next week. We have this match, which should get three. We have this match, which should hopefully get three. This should get three. <laughs> uh, this should get four, because it's Ray and Chavo in a match. Uh, this should get four easily, and then hopefully that can get four. And I'll, and, and, and I'll tell you why in a bit. But that, that's next week's card. Uh, we're going to go ahead and save this series right here. Um, you know what I'm saying? So that's going to be good. Um, save successful. Perfect. Okay. Oh, man. I actually... You know what, though? I kind of hope that Raw lets, uh, lets Carlito go. Like, they just let his contract expire or something. Like, I'm hoping I fucked them up financially with that trade. Um, and then they have to let Carlito go. Because what I would do... It was I was I would bring Carlito in and I would pretty much job him out to people until he's at the popularity of somebody that I want to trade for on their roster. I would job him out until he's like a 78 to bring Bobby Lashley in or a 79 for Finley or 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 not all the way down to a 70 for Flair. No, but um, yeah, until until he's like at a 79 or 78 for one of these three right here, right? And then I would job him out until he's down there, and then trade him. You know what I mean? I would I would build up people like Helms and shit, and then trade him. But anyways, that's uh, that's 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 neither here nor there. Anyways. That'll be the end of this week's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if this is the first video that you're watching from the series, you can check out a link to the playlist at the end cards at the end of the video, as well as a link to my WWE 13 playthrough, I believe, will be in there. Also, apologies about the WWE 13 playthrough. I haven't I haven't been able to record t this week because I was sick, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, so that's why there was no episode on Thursday or on Saturday. I think those days were without uploads. Uh, Friday, also, there was no... Uh, 2K20 series because uh, I was sick as well. I, I might have one of those actually that's just like edited and shit but not uploaded. I'm not really sure. Uh, but any, like, I was too sick to even edit, man. I was fucking out of it. But anyways, those series will return this week. Uh, mark my word. Don't mark my word. My school schedule is always fucking me up when I least expect it. Hopefully, those series will be back this week. Uh, and, uh, yeah. Um, also, check out the 2K20, I guess, because it's not in the end cards, but you can check it out. Also, under the playlist section of my channel, you can see all the series that I've done in the past. So, if you're a fan of the older wrestling games, check me out. You li might like what you see. Follow me on Twitter. Link in the description. Please sponsor me, Peace T. Got to beg for that sponsorship. And, um, yeah, as always with this series... If you guys have any suggestions, leave them down in the comments. And if I like them, I'll use them. Uh, somebody suggested uh, that I use uh, Masked Kane as kind of like a Demon Finn Balor, like alternate um, personality thing, split personality thing, uh, which I'm not going to use him that way, but I might use Masked Kane in the future. Hint, hint, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> no mercy. And um, yeah, so so we 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 got that. Uh, but if you if you leave something down there that I that I uh, like, then I'll use it and I'll give you a little uh, mention uh, when I use it. And um, yeah, uh, be sure to turn on notifications so you never miss an episode because YouTube likes to zuck your boy and not put my videos in your sub boxes. So by pressing that nice old bell icon, you'll get a push notification anytime I do upload and you'll never have to miss it. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please leave a like, subscribe, share all your friends, comment down below, all that good shit. And I will see you guys next time.